Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm FPV Freaky and this is going to be epic. This is going to be epic I'm telling you right now. Right if you haven't seen episode one I'll put that up there for you and for part two is how I've built this thing so far and whereabouts I am up there for you. All right don't forget to like the videos guys I really appreciate all the likes and all the support I can get right now. I'd be really happy if you subscribe. Right, what is on the agenda today? So today is day five. Today is gonna to be building the battery out of cardboard so that I can manipulate the battery to where I think is gonna be suiting this best. Let's get on with it. them sorted the date is 22nd of October and some of my parts have arrived for the bike I've got some hand guards which any rider will know you definitely need hand guards I've also got a brake line which I'm converting the back brake to a hand brake because I don't want to burn the motor out with the foot brake if I've got that on accidentally and don't realize it back brake on the bar I've got the extra wire for the battery thicker gauge wire also my controller this thing is an absolute beast compared to the other one that is the old one and this is the new one that is absolutely huge compared to that I've got the um, DC converter this is going to be rated for 120 volts um, I've got a waterproof switch I don't know how good this is but at least try that it's a 300 amp waterproof protected switch so with the controller tap some threads in the controller so i've mounted that in the bike and cut some of the frame and, and altered it i'll show you now so as you can see i've um altered the rear to support the new big controller um which will be fitting upside down but the simple reason is heat rises and hopefully it will dissipate a little bit quicker. Welded the uh, some nuts on there. I will be putting a crossbar along here uh, for the seat so that I can bolt that down. Strengthening it in, in some parts as well where it needs strengthening. So I've just mocked this up for the uh, battery. Taking the mud guard off down there taken that off um, so this is uh, how far I've got just made that temporarily just so I can get it into my head how big this is gonna be and mock it up so that I know roughly the size and whereabouts the battery is gonna be so now I've made um, my cage out of uh, stainless now I'm gonna weld this up just welded them together made a, a plate so I can bolt it to the uh, part of the subframe so we'll just see how it goes I've just made the, uh, the centre column for the uh, the battery. That is uh, nice and central to the bike. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the area up up here, and then uh, get it welded in, and that should be uh, a very good platform for the battery.
Hey, low cricket. Right guys, that is in there, all cleaned up, all welded up. I am so happy right now. I'll have to sit down and have a think about tomorrow what I'm going to be doing. I need um, a plate for the for the base. So uh, that's where we're at. That is where we're at right now. As you can see, it's in there. Um. I will have to cut down the uh, mud guard, which ain't an issue. That ain't too bad. Um, so yeah, that's gonna have to be cut. I'm also pleased that it doesn't hit my end stops, my handlebars, which is good. Well happy about that. I'm gonna fill these little gaps in so they don't get water in them and stuff. I might even cut them at a little bit of an angle and then shape it. Not sure yet. Might just leave it as it is. Block it up. Um, but yeah, so that is day. I'll put it down there, wherever it is, and I'll see you tomorrow. Right, guys. 23rd of October, the next day. I've just got this massive piece of aluminium. It's eight foot bigger than the bike. Um, I'm thinking about making a base plate for this in aluminium to keep the weight down also um, sort of make a little bit of a, a curvature because that's got a bit of curvature to it as you can see there probably can't see it that well on camera but it's got um, it give me an idea so I can make a belly pan out of this uh, checkered plate this stuff is thick it's got to be at least five mil Ooh, heavy gauge aluminium. I'm probably not going to film that because I don't want to waste your time. So, cut the alloy. I've then uh, got my ratchet strap and uh, decided to make the belly pan. So that's uh, going to be my battery base and also belly protector, just so that it gives it a bit more protection. I'm uh, quite happy with that. It's looking pretty cool, mate well chuffed obviously this is all going to be um be cut i don't know how far down this is going to be yet whether it's going to be up higher or lower obviously cut to shape i've had to abandon that idea because um the front wheel was when it's compressed it was hitting on um, the alloy and i just couldn't bend it because it's so thick but i will make a plate out of that up against that so yeah, we'll shape it and put it up against that so it's got a bit of protection as well, so.
So this is the first time of getting the batteries in and having a look. And I've got to say, it does look pretty good. Well pleased with that right now. So that's how I'm going to have the uh, batteries. Um, my 100 volt set up. Um, well pleased. But I've cut the plate out and cleaned it up. And I've also cut that section out for the wheel. And we bolted into there so that that gives that a nice bit of protection for the, uh, for the batteries. Taking me ages to do this because the stuff's so thick. It's just um, it's just taking ages to uh, to cut, to mould, and to shape. But I'm pretty pleased with how it's come out so far. You can only improve, can't you? Once you've uh, once you've got to that stage. Um, also, I would like to make a chain guard. Um, I've got some off cuts which I made the brackets for. But what I'd like to do is use something like this to bolt onto there and then have a guard just sort of protecting. So if it does come off at any point, at any time, then it's got it's not gonna whip into the, the batteries or you know do anything crazy. So that's the idea. Have something like that bolted on with the two top bolts. I'm really quite happy. I mean, it's taken me all day to make this, to make that. Haven't got it bolted on yet, um, but it's looking quite good. So there we go. That's what it looks like with the batteries in there. Doesn't look too ugly. So I'm quite pleased with that, how that's uh, sat in there. I've got also got a bit of uh, bit of room in there for padding and uh, the cage that I'm gonna make around this to secure it in there like quite nicely. So. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm not sure I'm gonna do the cage yet. Haven't decided that yet, so it's all uh, it's all in the making. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Quite pleased with that. It's all gotta be uh, manipulated a bit more so that I can um, have that tidied up, but yeah. What do you think guys? What do you think so far? Any suggestions on uh, anything else you can spot or give me ideas about? Oh yeah, I'll shave the uh, mud guard down as well. I'll shave that down, so that's that's a bit better. It's not gonna be, it's not properly yet, but you know, just for now. Don't forget to like the video guys if you're enjoying the, uh, the build. I've tried not to keep it too boring so that there's not too much grinding and all that sort of thing in there but tell me if you like that sort of thing and uh, I'll include it. I am absolutely knackered right now but yeah wicked mate I'm really pleased with that. Right guys, that is going to be it for today. Uh, I have done quite a bit. I will see you in the morning. Good morning YouTube. 10 o'clock, 24th of October. I'm going to start on this this morning. I'm going to flip the bike upside down, get that plate bolted on. Yesterday, my brake lever turned up for the, uh, for the rear brake. So that's really good. So it looks like things are uh, starting to happen. So without further ado, just crack on with it. drawn some locations where I want the bolts and I'm now going to drill the holes out. Battery's going flat, so I'm going to have to go and charge the other battery up. So while silly me 
was drilling holes in this and trying to drill holes in the stainless steel. One absolute div, I started breaking my drill bits and wondering why, because I need high intense oil steel drill bits. So now I've got to go and buy some of them. Um, what an absolute divid. I totally forgot that stainless steel and you need drill bits. Now I've got to go and get some of them. I've just welded the other bits up down there. Probably going to struggle with this. Um, so I've got to go and get some drill bits. I sort of knackered myself right up with that stainless steel. So the time's 11.46. I'm going to have to get some drill bits. I've just got some drill bits. The time is 12.25, 26 quid later. Be uh, very gentle with these. Quite a lot of lube. So yeah, let's get on with it. I'll come back to you in a minute. Well guys, right, the time is 25 past one. I do not want to drill any more stainless steel. I'm telling you that now. I mean, the drill bits are good, but I don't want to do that again. So what I've done is, um, I've drilled seven mil, because I think these are eight mil bolts, self crappers. Um, so I've bolted them in. They're not gonna stay like that. They're not just gonna be like that. What I'm gonna do is um, take them off again and mastic it when I'm ready to mastic it. So it seals it all in there. I'm now gonna um, weld some plates up over these holes to seal it up. But I've yet to do the front plate, so I still need to drill some more stainless steel. I'm gonna crack on with that and um, yeah. So at least, that, at least that's on there solid now. So I'm chuffed with that, even though it's taken me like nearly all day to do that. Um, with complications and stuff, not having the right drill bits. But we're getting there. Right, another little update. That's the front one on. The front plate is bolted on. Um, quite pleased with that. Lovely jubbly. So I reckon you'll be seeing this video around about the 26th of October. Next week's meant to be nice. Next week's meant to be uh, quite sunny so hopefully I can get some more done next week so I'm gonna cut some bits now for the frame that I showed you these bits so these bits the end caps and weld them on there so that'll cover them up plates made. They're all welded up. Nice little plates and end stops. All nice. Just ground them down and cleaned them up. So, yeah, that's all good. It's taken longer than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna have to be next week's video. I'm running out of time. It's starting to get dark soon, so I need to tidy up and pack this bad boy away. But I'm really happy with um, what's how far I've got so far. Really quite happy with that how far that's come along. I can then start putting everything on it that I need. Um, yeah, well happy. Now I've got the back brake, got that sorted. Start mounting things on there. Yeah, I don't think that'll be long at all. Obviously do that next week, that um, chain guard. Uh, just a peace of mind really. So um, yeah, really happy today.
be it for today guys um i just want to say thank you so much for all the subscribers that i've recently got um you've absolutely smashed it i was reaching for two like two thousand mate you've gone overboard i really appreciate all of your comments your likes and subscribes really it really means a lot to me with that said i'll see you in about a week's time um hopefully we'll have a, a lot more done and you never know we might even have it working stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one